Hello, my name is Rodney Robinson, and I administer the Facebook group Pendulum Dowsing and Energy Balancing. Today I'd like to talk to you about pendulums, specifically the pendulum to use. If you're just starting your pendulum practice, I get asked a lot in the group about the type of pendulum. Now I can't tell you what pendulum design to obtain because that's a personal decision for you. But I'd like to give you some guidance. One of the questions is, do I need to spend a lot of money on a pendulum? Will it work better for me? You don't have to spend a lot of money on a pendulum. That is absolutely the right answer to give you. But if you did spend a lot of money on a pendulum, you would probably get a very beautiful pendulum that you could use in, in ways that perhaps you hadn't realised. So that's something to bear in mind, but also the fact that you don't need to go jumping in and spending over £100 on your first pendulum. This little Isis pendulum, for example, didn't cost me very much at all. I think it was about £15, I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. But it's a really good little pendulum. It has a high vibrational frequency, its colour emission is in the frequency of negative green. And uh, this is a good all-round pendulum. I can use it for dowsing, yes and no questions. I can use it over charts. It's got a nice sharp point to be able to show me exactly on the chart where it's going. And so that is a really good all-round pendulum, if you were to ask me. If it doesn't chime with you and you don't like the look of it, then don't buy it, choose another one. But I particularly like the Egyptian style. So here's another one I'd like to show you, which you've seen before if you've watched any of my videos. This is a Kaimak pendulum of the Egyptian style. Again, very elongated, with a nice sharp point. Again, that you can see very clearly where it's going to if you're using it on a dowsing chart. So that's a consideration as well. Both of these pendulums, when I measure them on the Bovis scale, are very high vibrational. If you want to know more about the Bovis scale, I've done a video on that, uh, because I have some issues on how to use it. But you can use a percentage scale just as well. You can hold it over a percentage chart and say, please indicate the degree, the percentage degree, sorry, of my the vibrational frequency of this pendulum and then you want to see the pendulum go at least to 100%. So the chart I like goes from 0 to 150%. And for me, when I check, for example, a high vibrational frequency pendulum like this, on my, my percentage chart, it will give me 120%. But anything over 100% .100 is good, it will be a high vibration. Now that's important because high vibrational objects, they generally they are generally self-clearing of negative energy. Negative energy doesn't stick to them. Likewise, negative energy doesn't stick to wood or brass pendulums, which are great materials for your pendulum. So experienced pendulumists tend, tend to favour brass and wood pendulums not crystal pendulums, for the reasons that we've discussed on many previous occasions. So, you've got your pendulum, you like the style of it, you know it's high vibrational, you know the colour emission of that pendulum, especially if it's an Egyptian pendulum, it should never be black, okay? So colours okay, and the best colours are, I would say, in order of preference, negative green stroke grey, white, blue-green. Perhaps below that, violet. You can have individual colours being emitted from a pendulum, and they will have the attributes of the colour which you can look up in a colour healing book and there's an awful lot of information online about the metaphysical qualities of individual colour. 
very interesting to know about. So uh, it's something that I would encourage you to look into. So you've got a pendulum that will be useful to you whatever area that you might be working in. And if you're going to ask a question of somebody who is very experienced at pendulum use, then it's useful to give us an indication of what you want to use it for. Do you want to use it just for yes and no answers, for chart dowsing, for map dowsing? Did you want to use it for healing, for affirmations, for pendulum commands? You know, there's a whole range of different uses for a pendulum. So it does help us to guide you if we know what area you're, you're wanting to uh, use your pendulum in. And also, are you wanting to tie your pendulum use into a particular skill that you already have? For example, tarot reading, uh, colour healing, Reiki healing, uh, acupuncture, homeopathy, all these things. There's very little that a pendulum will not be able to help you with or will not integrate well with your practice. So uh, just, just bear that in mind. I would like to express my slight irritation at the, the number of times that I've heard, oh, a pendulum is just a weight on a bit of string. Well, of course it is a weight on a bit of string, but as soon as you pick it up, and utilise it for a profound meta metaphysical purpose, which I would say dowsing or manifestation, pendulum alchemy is, then it becomes more because you're interacting with the energy in a very profound way. That energy is coming into contact with your biofield, maybe somebody else's biofield as well. So it becomes an important consideration. And a high vibrational pendulum can also act as a kind of a, a firewall between you and any negative energies. I wear one here, for example, as a talisman to help protect my biofield and strengthen it uh, against energies that I'm coming into contact with. And we're all coming into contact with energy all the time. As soon as we get up in the morning, when we go out of our front door, and we're going to, you know, going to the market, going to a concert, speaking with people who you don't know. You're interacting, and their energy is interacting with you, your energy is interacting with them. So knowledge of the way energy interacts is very, very useful. And as a, as a pendulumist, I would encourage you to find out as much information as you possibly can because it will all be useful to you in some way or other. OK, so what else can we glean from, from a pendulum? Its shape. It could be that it has qualities allied to the symbolism of the pendulum, the numbers of the pendulum, how it's made up, the ratios of the angles of the pendulum. We have a sphere at the top. Spheres are very harmonising in their, their action. They collect and transmit universal energy. The discs do the same and they amplify it. The point of a pendulum acts like a lens for the universal energy as well. So there's a lot going on in the design of a pendulum. And I can perhaps talk more about that in future videos because there's just simply too much to get in, in 15 minutes. But what else can we do? What else can we do to obtain information about a pendulum? Well, you can hold it over your hand and feel the energy for yourself. Feel it on the palm of your hand, how intense it is. What does it feel like? Does it feel soft, sharp? Does it feel, uh, does it feel as if it's, harmonising with your chakra energy, your palm chakra. 
does it feel as though it's balancing it? And also ask yourself, does it bring any information into your third eye? Are you seeing with your mind's eye any imagery? If you're not, another thing that you can do is meditate with your pendulum in your hand and just sit with it. Because it's certainly true that most people can psychometrize to some degree, that is, obtain information through contact with an object. And I would just illustrate this by talking about my Carmack pendulum, which I've already psychometrized just before doing this video. And very clear imagery came into my head. I was able to see, I, I felt as if I was very high up, looking down what we call a bird's eye view of the earth. And I could see the geometry in the placement of buildings and the formation of structures on the earth. So I was able actually to see the, the geometrical form of the way those structures interacted with the earth energy, such as ley lines. Now what did this tell me? It told me that, that this pendulum would be a really great pendulum to use if I was trying to ascertain information about the energy of a particular place. And it would also be a good pendulum to use to balance the energy of a location and really to understand the way the earth energies interacted with that particular location. For example, would it be a good location if it was, for example, a building? Would that building be a good location for a, for a business? Would it be a good location for a home? Okay, I could use this pendulum. I would certainly use this pendulum to obtain information such of that nature and it may be that when you do your psychometry you may find a different form, a different pendulum would be useful for that. Or you may get completely different imagery. But what I'm saying is that the imagery gives you an indication of the particular type of energy or the particular affinity that that pendulum has with a particular type of work. So that's another way of of doing it. Another one that I psychometrized was my Benedictus pendulum, which I use for clearing energies, negative energy, entities and energies. Um, yeah, for all sorts of areas. But if I psychometrize this, this pendulum, what I get is completely different imagery. I get imagery going back, for me, I'm going back through stages of my life, and I'm seeing uh, images, images, sorry, that convey a feeling of nostalgic, uh, what's the word, nostalgic feelings of safety and of um, being surrounded by a loving family, for example. And I'm seeing imagery of my home going back through different stages of my life. So it tells me that this pendulum is very good for protection because anything to do with that that sort of homely, womb-like feeling of being in a, a loving home conveys protection to me. And that's what I got when I psychometrized this pendulum, which is a very lovely, it's a very expensive pendulum to buy, but again, one that for me, great value. I don't uh, resent a penny of the money I spent on this pendulum because it, it's so protective, it's so powerful. It, it's so powerful in its, um, yes, my protection of me when I'm doing clearing work. So that's a great pendulum. pendulum. If you want to have a, look, a closer look at it, it has that imagery there, and then it has um, the prayer of Saint Benedict on the other side. I don't know if you can see that. And then in this form, there is a hollow here which is filled with frankincense to give a very positive vibration to the pendulum. 